views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. to another episode of Meetings of the Minds in partnership with BronxNet. As you already know, Meetings of the Minds was created in direct response to the COVID-19 pandemic. It was important for us to find a way to keep our members, partners, and communities uh, together and sharing resources with one another to help us through all of these crazy challenges. If you're not yet a member of the New York City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, why not? We are the only Citywide Hispanic Chamber, super easy. Just visit www.hispanicchamber.nyc, www.hispanicchamber.nyc. Today, I have the pleasure of introducing a leading contemporary Latino chef. Yes, he is one of us. Chef Aaron Sanchez is a partner at Johnny Sanchez Restaurant. He has two locations in Baltimore and New Orleans. You may have heard his name because he is also a judge on the hit series Chopped. Hello, Chef Aaron. How are you and how is your family? Got a lot of love for the city. I just been down here in New, York, uh, New Orleans for five years. So very much a proud New York City Latino in heart and corazón, in crecimiento and the way I grew up. So lots of love, thank you. Absolutely, and thank you for representing us so well with integrity and honor. We really appreciate you, Chef. You know, we wanted to know, when did you first realize your calling as a chef, as a restaurant owner, and a television personality? Well, I mean, it started like many Latinos, you know, it started at home. You know, I, I'm very blessed to come from a, a long lineage of great cooks in my family. My family are uh, from originally from Northern Mexico, cattle ranchers. Uh, my grandmother wrote a cookbook in 1986 called Mexican Family Cooking and was just a great home cook. Una cocinera casera, like really awesome. And then my mom took the torch and ended up being like the biggest Mexican uh, chef pioneer in New York City. She had a restaurant in Midtown Manhattan for close to 30 years, Sarela Martinez. So it's safe to say that I have that in my blood, in my DNA. And that was really a, a jumping off point for me early on. And, you know, the TV and all that came along with it. Um, but I, I, I started participating in television as a way to get people to my restaurant mm -hmm. as a marketing tool. And then as time has gone on, the message has changed. You know, it, you never know uh, who you're creating a legacy for, right? And for you, it was definitely from your grandmother. And now you're sharing it with a, a whole entire community. Uh, I wanted to know, you know, COVID-19 affected so many businesses. Can you talk a little bit about how it affected Johnny uh, Sanchez? You do have two locations. Uh, yeah. Did you receive PPP or what assistance? How did you rise above? Yeah, I mean, I, I think you have to really understand that the restaurant, the independent restaurant community uh, employs over 11 million people, okay? We're second to only the uh, federal government as far as how many employees we provide. Uh, it's a huge business that needs support and it needs government funding. We need to get local restaurants and, and mom and pops with that necessary assistance, that necessary assistance for they can continue on their, with their, with their everyday life. Um, I think we took for granted that restaurants will always be there. And with COVID, it hasn't been that case. If you go state by state, community by community, the rules are different. Um, and it's just a really trying time. You know, I had restaurants during 9-11. I had restaurants during the blackout, Hurricane Sandy, so in New York City. So I know all that and nothing can touch this. This is unprecedented, unprecedented um, sort of disaster, you know what I mean? That we have to deal with, you know, and it's, it's rough. So you have to support your local restaurants. That's all I can say to you, your independent local restaurants. 
Absolutely. Any any words of encouragement for the restaurant owners and how to per- potentially just make it through the second round? You know, because I think it's important to encourage one another. Yeah, I I, I think what you got to do, if I can give some some simple advice, you know, strip down your menu, cook the things that everybody wants to eat. Don't feel the need to have to have a huge menu, especially during these times. Do things that are cost effective um, and, and, and be present, be at your restaurant and say hello and thank you to all the people that support you. Because, you know, takeout doesn't necessarily move the needle, I'm sorry. It's easy for politicians to say, oh, takeout, you know, you guys can do that. No, that's not the answer. The answer is primarily and most importantly to take care of people's health, our customers and our staff. So we have to do that as soon as possible. And that should be the punto clave, right? But we need help. We need PPP. We need, we need regulations to be able to uh, help us uh, do our job in an effective and secure manner. No, tienes toda la razón. You know, you spoke about the fundamentals. It goes back to uh, customer service, right? And being right there with your community, like you said, saying thank you so much, uh, because that will definitely get a lot of us going back and returning. So customer service, love is definitely key. You mentioned health. You know, health is important, both physical and mental. In the midst of everything that's going on in the world uh, and your demanding schedule, of course, how do you take care of your health? Oh, man. I mean, it's how I take care of my health. I mean, I go to the gym, I walk, I, I walk a lot. I like to, I'm very active, you know, you know, as you get older, I don't know, this is, this is 45 right here. This is good looking 45 right up in here. So um, it's about eating well. It's about having good habits. Um, but yeah, most importantly, just having a plan, you know, like every day I told my nine-year-old son, we have to do something physical. We have to do something that feeds the mind. Mm -hmm. We have to do something we haven't done the day before. So be adventurous and learn something. So that's kind of how I approach my day every, you know, every day. No, th- thank you. Uh, and we so need to take care of ourselves and go back to us. And I love how you're definitely including uh, the whole family. It's, it's very important to make it a family uh, thing and experience. You know, we believe that if one does not have a give back component in their success, your success is in vain. Can you talk to me a little bit about your mentorship program and your scholarship fund? Absolutely. I have um, a beautiful scholarship and I want to introduce you to somebody real quick. Mm-hmm. This is Camila. One of my newest recipients here, and she's from New Orleans, and she's extremely special. All the kids are special, but this young lady has surpassed all the expectations I've ever had. She's attentive, she's focused, she has an unbelievable worth ethic, and this is what the new face of chefs look like, this young lady right here. So I want everyone that's watching this to understand that. And this is one of our biggest joys. And she's somebody <laughs> very special to me. She's like my little Ika, you know, she's like my daughter, you know, and I, and I think a lot about that. And this is what's important. You know, we have the Hispanic, uh, we have the Hispanic Federation supporting us. We have all the Latinos around the country getting behind us. Uh, we're going to have, uh, at the end of this year, we're going to have nine kids enrolled into the program. They go to New York City at CAA uh, to pursue their dreams of being chefs. And there's a mentoring process that happens where they have to work with other chefs that are, are like-minded uh, so they can get as much information and experience as necessary. Um, and that's what's really special. You know, I, I couldn't be proud of this young lady. You have no idea. And she's just one example. You really have to see the rest of us. <laughs> Oh my goodness, thank you so much for sharing Camila with us. Camila, eres poderosa, eres dinámica, eres bella, and we're just waiting for more greatness. And the fact that Chef Aron is bringing you on, you know, on this stage and this platform, this is how we do it, people. This is how we help the next generation. I'm even more inspired and more encouraged by you. How do we follow you? Where do we find you? And Camila. Yeah, yeah. Well, go to the Aron Sanchez yeah. Scholarship Fund, right? Tell yeah. them where you can find us. So you can find us at the Aron Sanchez Scholarship Fund. We have an Instagram, and they post us all the time. In like, you can follow our story. There's also a blog mm-hmm. that we also have that you can follow us. It's the Aron Sanchez Scholarship Foundation. That's the website, and you can find all the information about all of us on there. 
and just follow our story. Yeah. We and there's will. personal stories. They all they all write their stories and experiences so you can follow each one of the recipients through their journey. And that's what's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And we will definitely follow you here at the New York City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. You ustedes ya son familia, chef. We're going to keep working together. I need to highlight more young people like Camila, and you are welcome here anytime, my sister. So You're muchas very gracias, very hermano, kind. por todo lo que estás haciendo y el ejemplo que sos. Thank yes, you so sir. much. You're very kind. Thank you all. Big love, all right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Camila, you are so amazing, preciosa, dynamic. The sky's the limit for you. We can't wait to see more. And Chef, this whole interview has just been so inspiring. But what really touched me is the fact that you were able to bring Camila on this screen and introduce her to each and every one of us. It's about supporting the next generation. Whenever we continue to climb this, the ladder of success, we must bring another young person with us. It is how we all need to, to roll, is how we is how we do, is the very basic foundation of our community. This is how we grow. We thank you so, so much. Uh, if you're not yet a member of the New York City Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, again, why not become a part of the familia? We uplift each other, we share resources, and we support the next generation. It is super easy, www.hispanicchamber.nyc, www.hispanicchamber.nyc. I'll see you next time for another episode of Meetings of the Minds in partnership with Bronson. Thank you.